So here we have calculating and comparing simple interest and compounded interest. So remember, we have two different formulas. Simple interest is um, interest. Oh, we don't use these formulas here. Okay. So it says Heather deposits $6,000 into an account that pays 6% interest per year and it's compounded annually, which means only one time per year. And then it says Ryan deposits $60,000 also into an account that also pays $6,000 per year, but it is simple interest rate, which means you only calculate the interest at the very end, okay? Or it could be per year, but it's very, I'll show you what the difference is, okay? So it says find the interest Heather and Ryan earned during each of their first three years, then decide who earns more for each year. Assume there are no withdrawals and no <clears throat> additional deposits. So they want you to do for the first, second, and third year. Okay. Now for both cases, it's the same for the first year. So they are both depositing $6,000 and the rate is going to be 6% or 0 0.06. Okay. So for Heather, in year one, how do you calculate her interest? Her interest is going to be calculated by $6,000 times 0 0.06 times the one year, which is going to give her 6,000, or it's not supposed to be 6,000, it's supposed to be 60,000. So 60,000 times 0 0.06 times 1 is 3,600. Now for Ryan, his is actually the same thing. So it's the interest equals 6,000 or 60,000 times 0 0.06 times 1, which is 3,600. Now, this is for year 1. Here's where the difference comes into play. It doesn't happen until year two, okay? For simple interest, which is what Ryan has, okay? Simple interest means that the interest is the same for every single year. So even year three will be the exact same amount. That's what simple interest means. It means you just calculate the interest and it's the same every single year. So for Ryan, it's going to be 3600 every single year. For Heather, we know that the first year is 3600 just the same as Ryan. But in year two is where things change. Because now in year two, the principal amount that you start with is not the same as it was in year one. Because now, Heather has $60,000 plus the amount of money that she's earned in interest. So now she has 63,600. And that's the amount that you use. So that's what it means compounded. So it's collected and added to your balance. Whereas this one is not added to your balance throughout each year, okay? And normally this is the one that happens in banks. This is more like if you borrow some money from your friend and your friend says, I'm going to charge you 36 or 6% 6 each year, they're probably using this one. They're probably not using this method, okay? But the bank is going to use this method. So 63600 times 0 0.06 times 1 is 3816 so that's how much interest she earned but now in order for me to calculate year three i've got to take that and add it to this number that you had in the account before year two started so now i have six thousand or $67,416 times the rate times the one year. And now I get 4044.
4.96. Okay, and so then it asks you who earned more. On the first year, it's the same. For the second year, it's actually Heather that earned more. And then for the third year, it's actually Heather that earned more again. And so your answers will either be Heather, Ryan, or the same. It'll be a drop down arrow inside Alex. But remember, for Heather, it's the compounded interest, and that's how you do compounded. You keep adding that value to what was already in the bank and using it for the next interest calculation. Simple interest is the same thing every single year. It's the same thing happening, okay?